Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Let's Play SimCity 4 with me, XPluex. Um, so, a couple of things. I uh, I started my... I unlocked my YouTube channel, pardon me. Um, so now I'll, I'll hopefully have a little bit better episode times. Um, than just, you know, 14 minutes and 90, 90 seconds or 14 minutes and 50 seconds, whatever I've been doing. Um, I've been playing Skyrim like crazy, so <laughs> uh, le left the last set of videos out there for a bit longer than I usually do. I think I haven't uploaded in two days, maybe two, um, just to get some feedback, and, and the feedback's been pretty good, so we're gonna keep going. Um, one of the things we, what what I did, what happened last time when I finished was just we got a little graphical bug, and I think that was just because the game was had been running for a really long time, maybe, or there was just another. Uh, just another weird issue uh, that had been caused by that. So today, we're uh, instead of starting off by going straight to uh, to uh, Bubbles' house here, we're gonna actually go back to the dope trailer, and we're going to um, we're gonna zone some commercial because we have a whole bunch of uh, of demand for manufacturing that I'd like to um, I'd like to sort of um, consume all of that demand before we before we get going. So I let um, I let the dope trailer run uh, off camera for a bunch just to get some capital. Um, I, I did a couple of things to make it profitable. One of the things I did was I stopped importing all the, gu the garbage from Dartmouth uh, that we were importing um, and just just trimmed up the water to make sure everything was good. Um, and these guys here built, um, I had you know I had previously not provided them with water and actually one of the things I noticed was that the little factories are actually producing as many jobs as these big guys and they aren't taking as much space so we're gonna actually try we're gonna try and zone this th zoning this corner a little bit differently uh, than we normally would and uh, we're gonna see how that goes for us the first thing we need to do though um, the other thing I'd like to do well the first thing we need to do is we need to put uh, some overpasses down here and here um, to alleviate some of the traffic that's been developing. But one of the things I'd like to do that I uh, that I that I we haven't done before is that I actually like to set up a, a freight railway that runs that runs this direction here and see if we can't alleviate some of the traffic. Because if we look here, the traffic problem is actually getting pretty severe down here. We can see it's it's red and uh, the highway is getting really heavily loaded with cars. And so if we can eliminate the amount of freight trucks on that highway, I'm hoping that we can see an improvement there. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. And actually, uh, you know what, I can't do that right now. Okay. Anyway, so that's, um, that's probably going to be the scope of this video. I'm not 100% sure if we'll um, have any time to actually get back to um, to Kitties and uh, and do some zoning over there. Um, but for now, we're just going to work on manufacturing jobs, which is important. Manufacturing jobs are medium wealth, and because they're medium wealth, um, it's going to be important for both our big cities uh, and our and any other cities we build. I actually did this wrong while I was talking to you guys. So what I'm actually going to do here um, is what I want to test is I want to see if the two by two commercial industrial slots are as efficient as the one um, are more efficient than the the four by four slots here because this space here is consuming, um, you know, it's it's consuming four times as many as this guy is, these guys here, and they're, in some cases, even two of these guys would be as many jobs as as, as um, one of these guys when you can fit four. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to roads, and I'm actually going to zone off a couple of, uh, a couple of pads. I really don't want there to be an intersection like that, so I'm going to put one there. Just a couple of pads like this, and then I'm gonna wrote, alternate every. I'm gonna alternate every 
second one, I guess, um, and and put an intersection there. One of the reasons why I don't want all the intersections is because this will be a fairly high traffic area from these, from these, and so we'll go like that and like that. Yeah, I guess that's okay. So we'll put down our high density. One of the things that I didn't think about, which could be relevant, is that in these areas there'll be more cars, or there'll be more, um, more roads. So that might be a, a factor in actually how many jobs we can fit in this little square. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look. I just kind of messed that up there. All right. Let's give them some water and check them out, see what they do. There's no actual reason to connect all these together, I'm just doing it because I'm, I'm a weirdo. Alright, let's see. See what happens. Still have plenty of demand. Yeah, see, and this is what I'm talking about here. You can see this building, like it might have 25 jobs, but this building is actually consuming like eight spots just for the parking lots. Oh, boys, grow. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of strange. Maybe I'll stick with the four by fours just to have less roads. Let them grow and see what they're doing. Oh. I've got a water widget up. So, let's give them some more water. Put that garbage. The reason I'm doing uh, the commercial section here, the reason I've sort of, you know, sidetracked, I guess you could say, is should be fairly apparent. Um... I like I like using indus industrial jobs uh, as much as I can at the start because Sims, for whatever reason, the Sims tend to tend to like to work in industrial jobs, and like medium wealth Sims will, will work in in any medium wealth job you give them, realistically speaking. But um, there always seems to be like a, like a ton of industrial demand, and you know as you continue to build, um, you'll notice that. The industrial demand never really goes away. Uh, and I like to just take advantage of that, you know what I mean? Because it'll lead you to... That was a weird lag. Uh, the industrial demand actually leads you to just higher population levels. overall and um, I've never really had a problem not having enough commercial positions so I think in that respect the building the industrial jobs is helpful because I do think actually like like industri industry and commercial have an effect on each other as well as having you know sort of like a well, I guess I forgot to pause it while I was building that um, as well as having, as well as having an effect, like not only do commercial and industrial interact with each other, but they both interact with residential. So we'll let that build. Uh, it usually takes a bit for manufacturing to, to move in for whatever reason. I don't know why. That's just the way they, they do that zones. And uh, we're making like tons and tons of sim bucks right now. But the ever-present problem of industry. Is that a water consumption? 
And eventually our traffic is going to get like hellish. Yeah, you can see this place in here, they've already sort of become... We're getting traffic updates all the time. And I'm hoping we can solve that with um, like a, a freight rail system. Uh, I've never really had much success with it in the past, but I've actually never built them in my industrial centers before. Just, just sort of out of... I don't know if it was coincidental or I just, you know, I just never ended up doing it. Oh, we got a fire. We'll dispatch that. And actually, that's probably a good reminder that we need another fire station. Uh, because we're... Because we've gone way up in profitability, another fire station will be well worth it. And hopefully we can just take care of... Um, you know, those of those spot fires where they come up. Let's see. Uh, fire hazard. Yeah, it's still pretty bad. But I've never really found an effective way to reduce that anyway. Alright. So we've got most of that is consumed. So I'm going to build two more. One, two. two more, like, uh, two more pads. And just keep adjusting to um, the RCI indicator. Um, if we need more here, we'll build more. And again, like I said, I'm doing this because I want... The way I think about it is I try to always think of SimCity as, as the logical process. So it's like as I build more, um, more manufacturing centers, I have more commercial goods. Um, and, and as I have more commercial goods, I have more, you know, sort of higher supply, more need to sell them, um, and, uh, and, you know, so there's, there's that that I'm hoping, uh, the game takes, the game takes into consider. you can, you can see we, we have a lot of, um, this medium wealth commercial demand, which is, um, directly a result of building, building kitties are so nice. Just taking a, a little look at traffic to see what kind of traffic problems we're having. And this city's always going to have really bad traffic problems because um, because in the base game, buses don't do intercity commutes. We can't actually build uh, bus stops here because I believe the bus stops actually won't do anything. I haven't tried, but I'm pretty sure they won't. Yeah, I'm going to direct the traffic that way from there. I should have been directing the traffic already um, towards this street here, but I haven't because I'm... I've been, I've been a bad, 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 bad SimCity builder. And then we can go to here and draw the one way like that, like that, and like that. There we go. All right, that should be good. So we'll fill up this zone and we'll see if we have more um, while we're making well while we're making a, a very respectable profit we'll let that build and we'll see if we can put down the the sort of the the rail and you know and, and that ends up being a good thing for the city then that'll be good if not I guess we'll probably just demolish it. Have we even consumed? Yeah, I guess we've consumed some of the manufacturing jobs. We just have, we have so many uh, medium wealth sims. We have so many medium wealth sims. Oh, I'm dumb. Um, we have so many medium wealth sims in our other cities now that, that we to, for me to encourage those medium wealth areas to grow better I need to create more jobs like we have more people than we have jobs yeah so we have about 2,000 left which is pretty good I think once these areas uh, flesh out we'll probably be almost ready to to just call our quits there and I'm thinking I can actually sneak the railway the railway in right here 
put down the tracks like I'll show you what I'm thinking um, if I can sneak them in sneak it in here unfortunately I can't go over that underpass that overpass here so that's not gonna work what if I And then, will that work? I don't think they have enough room to turn. Rail railways, I, I don't have a lot of like, like really good experience with the railways in this game. Um, because yeah, you can't, can I go like that? Oh, I can. That doesn't help me though. <laughs> So I'm just gonna, I'm just, uh, you know, while the, the last little bit of our manufacturing is being consumed there. So that's pretty good. We have, we're really profitable here now. Um, but we're gonna have to halt this profitability when we move because if we, if I go back to the region we start working on um, our kitty city, then uh, it's gonna be, <laughs> how to explain, um, the Dart Dartmouth, which we've been rooting our garbage to from our new city, is not going to be coming here, and that w then Dartmouth is going to not be able to take the garbage from our city, which is going to be a bit of a a little bit of a um, a nightmare to deal with. Oh, I really wish it could go like that. That would be so perfect, but it can't. I mean, it could go like straight along here and go to there but I think um, what we'll do is we'll set up the the rail system to do that and then can it go there? No, it has to go right there, hey? Hmm. So, if I get rid of this corner... I just want to try to get... If I can get as many freight trucks as possible coming uh, into here... Instead of um, on the roads, I'm hoping I can solve some of the traffic issues. Um, that the city's facing. Mainly what I want to do is I just want to, I don't, I don't necessarily want to completely eliminate it, I just want to do my best to reduce it. So similar to the way, um, similar to what we've been doing, oh, this might be a problem here, with bus stops. So let's see train station so if I want my freight train station to go like that <laughs> these will all regrow it's really demolishing them is really a lot less uh, of a, a hassle than you might think Yeah, I might be having trouble with this this piece right here. That intersection right there. What if I bring it out one more? No. Yeah. It's because of the it's because of the intersection right here, I guess. So if I go back to that Sometimes you have to fiddle a bit, and this one we're going to have to fiddle a little more than a bit. Because what we're going to have to actually do is we're going to put our freight train station... Oh, tell me I did that. Mm, yeah. This diagonal can't won't work. Uh, maybe it can. It, it looks, it'll look a little messy. Um, but it has to go through there, hey? 
So it'll look really messy. <laughs> this is one of the problems with uh, um, with doing this uh, after the fact. That instead of just doing it, um, like instead of pre-planning for it. So I would encourage you to have uh, pre-planned out your all of this stuff. Um, if you're gonna put a railway system in, and not do it like me. You know, very, very much retrofitting it in. But I figured this would be provide some education. I'm not super, super good at the railway systems in this game. In fact, most of the time they just don't work. But I'm hoping because we have so much freight, um, we have so much freight here that that the systems will just just work, and I won't have to sort of um, be completely embarrassed by SimCity here. I like right there, but that cuts off my avenue. Well, let's see. If I go like this, and that won't work. That won't work. That won't work. So all of the freight that's heading to here from these buildings won't. But I guess we have these one ways feeding it. I wish I could get a nice square avenue there, though. It's not gonna happen. And if I go like that, that yeah. All right. So much for looking nice. Freight station, like that. And so these two um, can ship uh, 2,000 freight each, which is a ton of freight. Um, if you look at like these buildings here, like they have two trucks. Two trucks, two trucks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it run once I um, once I figure out um, exactly what I want here. I may just go like this. Though I bet you that won't grow, but we'll check it out. One of my major dislikes about SimCity 4 is that. So this isn't doing anything. And there's no trains. Yeah, see we're getting nine freight trucks to there. Um, but for some reason they're still not using it. Yeah, zero. And this guy has nine production. So I'm going to sit and watch. And I'm going to guess that the road access is too poor. And maybe if I cut off these... Yeah, because all of these guys are shipping their freight to the same place. So we got 11 there. Maybe I'll just let it run for a little bit and see if uh, see if they start using it. I have a funny feeling they won't. And this is one of the problems I've found with... Is that maybe I have to have that ac access on the avenue. Yeah, so we've got 11 freight being shipped to our uh, freight train station and 2 being shipped there and uh, I don't even yeah they're they're going and I don't I'm actually all right. well, that was an interesting experiment what's the problem here ah, I see we need a, a nuzzle a nuzzle plants So it might be that there's nowhere to receive the freight, but I really have a strong feeling that's um that's not actually the case. My guess is that it's uh is that there's no actual traffic going that direction because it's all down here. Ooh, well, it's sort of looking that way. And like all going right there. So I guess what if I wonder if I've changed the direction of that one way there. Let's give that a try. Hmm. 
Three. Yeah, so these, for whatever reason, I don't, um, I don't know. I'm not actually very good at uh, building, building train stations. I wonder if I built one like here. That would matter. Anyway, so there's my failed, uh, failed experiment at building those train stations. On the plus side, we've consumed all our manufacturing demand, and this city is crazy profitable. So what we're going to do is, before we leave, we're just going to go down to neighborhood deals, and we're going to take all of the trash we can from Dartmouth, and uh, and move it, just by essentially reestablishing the neighbor deals that we once had established um, before we uh, turn those off. Because if you if you hit play and you watch, once those deals kick in. Well, we're still profitable afterwards, so we finally hit a critical mass of jobs. That's good. That's good to know. I'm going to keep trying to experiment with... Um, I'm going to keep trying to experiment with uh, mass transit systems just to, to uh, show you guys what I do with them. And um, since I'm not really that successful with it, <laughs> um, I guess I will... I will do some reading and, and see if I can't figure out what exactly it is I'm doing. It, it definitely could be that there's no, um, because there's no receiving station, that people don't want to move there. So we've essentially doubled the amount of manufacturing jobs we have in our region. And um, owing to my new, my new, my great and new having um, episodes be unlocked, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, and I hope you guys will join me next time for Let's Play SimCity 4. Um... Yeah, so bye-bye.